The battery and alternator receive most of the attention in the numerous parts that make up your car's charging system, but the voltage regulator is just as important. Your alternator generates voltage whenever your engine runs because it is belt-driven, where all of the voltage originates. However, a maximum of 14.5 volts can be applied to your battery simultaneously. A full charge is at 12.6 volts. The battery would explode if the alternator continued to discharge so much voltage into it. Your battery's current voltage is monitored by your voltage regulator, which sends voltage that way when it begins to drop too low. The regulator removes all excess power from the system by diverting it to the ground when the battery reaches a sufficient voltage. We'll be discussing the symptoms of a malfunctioning voltage regulator and how much it will cost to replace it in this video. It's the Car Problems YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. Too high voltage in the battery. A voltage regulator can malfunction in one of two ways. It can first cease providing the battery with adequate voltage. Furthermore, it has the potential to overpower the battery. You'll encounter issues sooner rather than later if it's sending too much power. Batteries typically sit at 13.7 volts while the alternator charges them. A fully charged battery has 12.6 volts. Anything above that may be harmful. If the battery is left unchecked for an extended period of time, it may warp, crack, or explode due to its extreme warmth. Battery light or check engine light. A check engine light or a battery light may come on due to various sensors flagging up that your voltage regulator is either overcharging your battery or failing to charge it at all. You should pull over right away if one of these lights illuminates. Your car could completely die or the battery could overcharge and blow up. In either case, there won't be any positive outcomes. Vehicle dies while running. Driving down the road, your car will cut off if your voltage regulator isn't sending enough power to the battery while the engine is running. You're going to have issues with your vehicle because it requires voltage to operate. Usually, this won't become an issue until the alternator or voltage regulator totally fails. Dead battery. If the voltage regulator isn't directing power when it should, you'll receive an excessive amount of voltage. It will remain dead all the time if the battery is not receiving enough voltage. Since you typically don't look at your voltage regulator when your car isn't starting correctly, it can be one of the more frustrating parts to troubleshoot. However, using a multimeter to measure the charging voltage from the alternator is fairly simple. Inconsistent operation of electrical components. The electrical parts surrounding your car will also function erratically if your voltage regulator is. You'll notice irregular operation from your radio, dashboard lights, or more important parts like your fuel pump. The voltage regulator may be the source of many odd electrical issues if the voltage is either too high or too low. Dimming or pulsing lights. The brighter and dimmer your lights get, the more likely it is that your vehicle's voltage regulator is malfunctioning, causing your lights to pulse. This occurs when the voltage regulator in your device is unable to maintain a steady voltage as it should. What you may notice, though, is that your lights may not be as bright as they should be if your voltage regulator is beginning to fail and fails to maintain the appropriate amount of voltage. Replacement cost. The typical cost to replace a voltage regulator ranges from $70 to $400 depending on the type of vehicle and labor costs. The cost of labor is between $50 and $200 and the voltage regulator costs $20 to $200. Replacing the voltage regulator may require changing the alternator as a whole or just the regulator, depending on the car you drive. The cost of the part alone, should you need to replace the alternator as a whole, typically ranges from $200 to $500. After that, a mechanic can usually complete the task fairly easily, so labor costs should range from $50 to $100. Usually, a voltage regulator will set you back $20 to $200. Even though there is a wide range, if you drive a smaller car, they usually cost a little less. The ease of access to the regulator affects labor costs as well. If you have mechanical aptitude, you can easily swap out an alternator for a voltage regulator and a standalone voltage regulator. Hope the information was helpful. If so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel.